Bonsoir les amis, this is Leanne Stanfield and uh, you can find me at parisianfrench.com um, Today is the third um, episode of the uh, storytelling um, series so about how to tell our stories in the past the right way and um, today I want to talk about Imparfait and of course to remind you that uh, tomorrow all the bonuses um, are going to end um, for you but hopefully you're going to take advantage of it and so you have a link in the description oh yeah actually I have to give you the link to the group if you want to have the transcript of this video so I'm gonna give that um, I'm gonna replace that link there but um, anyway you can find me either way um, to talk about uh, these bonuses that if you want to take advantage of them. And so, um, also on Monday, we have the webinar that's going to put all these past tenses together. We have four past tenses that we can use in order to make um, uh, write the right story, you know, to the friends, to your friends. So um, take advantage of uh, take advantage of um, everything of the webinar. It's free, and the bonuses are coming and are going. So uh, there it is. L'imparfait. Uh, I want to tell you just a few things, are very very important things. So first of all, how do we create imparfait? We take the first person plural from nu in the present tense we take away the ons which is the ending and to the root we add the endings of the imperfect so i'm going to give you the link to the group is uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash joulette j-o-u-e-l-l-e-t-t-e in one word uh, if you want to go in the group to find your transcript so that's how you create imparfait. You get the endings um, put. I mean, you get the root from there from the new. Put the endings endings for imparfait. I s i s i t i o n s i e z a i e n t. The only exception is verb to be être, and the the root for être is taken from. It's just arbitrary because uh, nous in the present tense is nous sommes. And um, we don't have ONS to take away from there, and so we, we don't know how to get the root. And the only way uh, to have a root is to have an arbitrary root, and that is going to be E accent aigu T. I'm going to, well, you um, have to go into the group to get the transcript for this. So I'm going to conjugate uh, the verb to be in imparfait. J'étais, tu étais, il était, elle était, on était, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient. Elles étaient. And when do we use imparfait? In two situations, rule of thumb. Either when in English you'd say, I was going, I was eating, I was singing, or um, the second situation is when in English I would say, I, was, I used to go, I used to eat, um, I used to sing. So there it is. That's all I have for you for today. Don't forget that we have a webinar on Boxing Day when the big specials are finishing. There are early bird registration bonuses, however, that end tomorrow. Um, and I hope that you're going to ask me if you're interested. And uh, yeah, that's it. Don't ever give up on your dream to become bilingual. Learn to speak Parisian French and uh, break the language barrier. Merci beaucoup et à demain. Au revoir.